Hello everyone and welcome to my channel update uh, regarding the YouTube channel where I do uh, Magic the Gathering booster drafts using the, the digital client Magic the Gathering Arena. And the announcement in this video is that I will be decreasing the frequency of videos uh, starting the next set, Outlaws of Thunder Junction, uh, and the new frequency of videos will be only one draft video per week. It was uh, one draft video every two days since the last September when Watch of Eldraine uh, released, but I will be decreasing that to only one draft video per week. And uh, I will get to the why next. Uh, the reason is that um, my uh, view counts basically, and also the subscriber count, they have totally stagnated. There has been no kind of an actual progress uh, in the last year or so. I guess I did have a break last summer, but that didn't even hurt the channel because it was, uh, uh, because after the break, I started getting um, pretty much the same views uh, than, than before the break. So people came back once I started uploading again. Uh, so I don't think that's a big reason for it, but whatever the reason is, there's no progress in terms of uh, view counts. And uh, that's kind of um, the, the main motivation I have had since the beginning uh, the, for making these videos is that uh, uh, I've been, you know, getting, you know, a little bit more audience over time. But that hasn't happened in the last year, basically. Uh, it's been the same. And that's gonna affect how motivated I am to, you know, do stuff for the channel. Uh, a little bit of a background info, uh, three and a half years ago when I started to make these videos, I thought that I might have like a, a kind of a niche uh, regarding these best of three drafts, which are not very, uh, f the kind of a frequent content on, on YouTube. A lot of people do, that do draft, especially the popular drafters, do the best of one versus but probably because it's ranked and that's you know cool to uh, be in the top ranks of the ladder. Uh, I just personally don't enjoy best of one that much so that's the reason the reason I'm sticking to best of threes and I hoped that there would be an audience that's already also interested in the best of three uh, drafts but maybe that's just not a very big um, kind of a market share <laughs> uh, in the first place. And of course, I also uh, started doing the drafts on the channel because I thought it might be somewhat valuable to, to show that I can, you know, complete the sets for free. I have this nice you know, stack of gems and I have, you know, if you see the main video on my channel homepage, you see that I have crafted all the cards on Magic the Gathering Arena. You know, I have four of each of the cards and actually the updated version of that is my previous video where I, uh, you know, opened my MKM packs and then crafted everything that I didn't, you know, otherwise get, you know, the unopenable cards and uh, the special quests that are very hard to come by. Uh, so at the moment of recording this video, I have everything on, on the client. And I haven't paid, you know, much because I've been able to successfully uh, draft, well, you know, on average at a 70% maybe match win rate in the best of uh, three drafts, which allows me to go infinite. And I thought that might be the kind of uh, a draw to, that could draw some kind of an audience, but it seems it's not very, you know, people don't <laughs> necessarily care about that too much. And I understand, I do select my the people I watch and follow on YouTube based on the personality and uh, and how they do things not necessarily how good they are so again I just thought that uh, I should you know take a shot for for making these videos because I had you know something special going on I think um, I'm not saying that all the other content creators cannot go infinite, of course, like just Lola Man has an incredible stash of gems and he's not the only one, but um, still, um, I thought that there might be something. And that's the, you know, the reason I started making these videos in the first place. And of course, uh, when I saw that, um, the, the, uh, um, you know, the, the audience I have increases over time, that was the motivating thing, I think. I have said that already. If I didn't, well, I said it now. And that, that's the main motivation to keep doing uh, these videos. But since there's, there's been no Im improvement in that regard for the past year, um, my motivation isn't as high anymore. 
and I don't want to I don't want to spend so much uh, making content you know my of my personal time to make content because there's no nothing to kind of show for it uh, not not in the financial uh, you know uh, sense because you know yes I have hit the uh, you know the, the threshold of 1000 subscribers yes I have monetized the channel but the amount of money I get from the videos is like 50 to 70 cents you know in terms of euros but US dollar is close to that anyway and I still have to pay you know taxes for that I haven't actually gotten any money out of YouTube yet because I have just you know kind of grown the very small <laughs> uh, amount of money I can withdraw from YouTube or Google rather uh, even though I have had more than 1,000 subscribers for over a year now, I haven't gotten any payday yet because I'm not going to take like a, you know, 70 euros is the minimum you can get get there. And uh, but at this point, I think I have like a, a little bit over 100 euros there that I could, you know, withdraw. And then I have to pay taxes from for that. So it's 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 not really... The, the financial stuff isn't the reason I do this content, uh, but um, I, I like that. I still like that. Um, I would get a little bit uh, of a steady Im improvement over time to to kind of keep me motivated to make these videos. And about the statistics, uh, on average, my videos get viewed by 100 people so that you know 100 people actually click the video and start watching it but at the end of the video when it's the third match in the event there will be only 10 to 20 people following so only like 10 to 20 people see kind of through the the entire thing and that's what i you know i'm thinking when i'm starting to record a video that is it worth my time if like 10 to 20 people are gonna watch the match three uh that's maybe not worth my time uh because i mean as long as the numbers kept improving i didn't care about the, the small view counts but since they haven't improved in so long time that's kind of the reason i'm now doing this video um and then another thing i wanted to say is that uh um it was sorry i actually blacked out now okay yeah, i had to pause for a little bit yeah it was about the time it takes uh to to record a video so i'm not going to stop playing magic the gathering arena i will be definitely continuing to draft sets to completion even um by myself regardless uh, but it still takes a lot of time to make these videos so it's not like um it's completely you know free to make the videos because roughly it takes double the time to make a recorded video when you take also into account that uh, you have to upload the video you have to make the thumbnail the description and all the youtube you know technicalities you have to go through to make the video actually appear on the channel uh, on the day you want to make it uh, publish, uh, it will take uh, roughly double the time. So I could draft 20 times by my own, but if I wanted to make videos out of that, uh, of those 20 videos, I could only, uh, I mean, if I use the same time for making videos, I could only do 10 drafts. And uh, uh, if I had infinite time, that wouldn't be a problem, but I have only a limited you know, amount of spare time. I have a you know, total, uh, no, normal work week of 40 hours per week uh, around five weeks holiday per year because you know in Finland that's the norm uh, but anyway uh, it's a significant amount of extra time for drafting I need to use when I make videos so since there's like a, a little bit only a little motivation to kind of to do the videos going forward I want at least that I won't be using so much of my personal time to to make the videos. I don't just want to stop doing the videos and kind of a call it, or uh, I'm, I'm you know kind of a you know you know end the channel so to say. It's still a three and a half years of content and that's you know kind of a, my personal little hobby project. I don't want to just abandon it. I I'm not saying I won't do that going forward. But at least for now, I will just um, my adjustment is that I will be making just a 
fewer videos and see how the view counts go. I mean, if, if I still get like a only, you know, less than, less than 100 views per video, I might just, you know, then not bother at all. But let's see how it goes for the next set. And there will be modern, there will be modern horizons three that I think overlaps with Outlaws of Thunder Junction. I might do like one video per set per week in that case. And I also, you know, tried the other kind of content. I'd make the, made those shorter <laughs> uh, ranking the card cycles videos. That was just a test. Well, that that was, you know, a good test to have. But the result is that the, that's not the the kind of direction I should be going. And people weren't interested in that kind of video at all. So I won't be doing more of that. And of course, you, I could, you know, if I want to just boost the channel numbers, I could make some constructed content. But that's again. I do I do play a lot of constructed, basically all the formats the arena has to offer. Timeless has been my favorite uh, lately, but I also do standard, even alchemy, explorer, historic, and both standard brawl and the historic brawl. I also do play. I have decks for each of those formats, uh, but I don't think I'm that you know enthusiastic about constructed. Uh, as you know, compared to how enthusiastic I'm about drafting, so I don't think I want to kind of go that route just to you know maybe get more view counts out of YouTube. So if if my best of three drafts aren't interesting to people, then that's it. I don't really want to make this like a an arena channel. Uh, it's it's going to be a, a draft channel because that's my, that's my actual passion about Magic the Gathering. Uh, that was it. I don't know if I. I don't remember if I was going to say something else. Maybe I was, and maybe I will add a post on the channel or something if if something else comes to my mind. But if you have any questions about anything about this channel, uh, please uh, ask them <laughs> below. I will answer every comment. You know, that's one of the perks of having only a little bit of audience. I have the time to actually read through all the comments and, and reply to them. Uh, that's, of course, not happening for channels where people have, you know, a lot more uh, commenting on the videos. Uh, but yeah, that's, I think, it. I will hopefully see you in the Outlaws of Thunder Junction, but only once per week. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.